So our SOC's kind of broken up into three tiers. So we've got tier one analysts um, who play a bit of the volume game. Their kind of job is to deal with the initial triage of all of the kind of events and the alerts that are generated by your systems, but also by our system. Um, so with the detection rules that we create, uh, they will flag uh, kind of suspicious events to those analysts. And it's their job to kind of dig in and dig into them and make a bit of a decision. You know, is that something that needs to be escalated within the team for further investigation? Is it something that based on our understanding of you as an organization is normal behavior and then kind of mark it down as a false positive event? Or, you know, are we confident that it is something that we need you to, to, to look at? And if that's the case, then it will be raised to you as a security event. So then we've got our tier twos. So our tier twos job um, is to support the tier ones um, when things are kind of more complex, need further investigation or more exper or more experienced kind of hand, um, then that's where they'll come into the process. So the tier ones will escalate to those tier twos for support and they'll kind of do a deeper investigation into what's going on um, and then support them in kind of making that decision of whether we need to raise something to use an organization or not. And then you've got our tier threes. So they're kind of the big hitters within the team, most experience, most certifications. Um, their job is to lead incident response when something happens, which you know um, does look like it's gone bad or could potentially go bad, and and they'll work directly with you in in those instances. Tier threes are also responsible for investigating kind of extra tooling and kind of just generally making sure that our SOC is as effective as it can be. They're heavily involved in the strategy with which we use to to make the SOC as effective as possible, make sure you know we've got the right automation in place, the right tools in place, we're using the right threat intelligence sources, all of that kind of good stuff. Being able to monitor your data in near real time is super duper important. From a security perspective, you need to know if something's happening um, that shouldn't be as quickly as possible. So mean time to detection is super duper important. We need to get the log data out of your systems and ingested by our sim as quickly as we can, and then get it analyzed to make a decision on whether it's normal or not as quickly as we can. The reason that's so important um, is because you as a business will need to respond quickly should something bad or potentially bad be happening. And the quicker that you are able to respond to that, um, the less you'll be able to lessen the impact um, and hopefully actually stop things in their tracks. In the event of a potential breach, um, then we'll pick up the phone. So during the onboarding process, we'll kind of work with you to understand who are your key people in the organization, who should we contact in the event of a potential disaster. So yeah, our SOC will pick the phone up straight away. All events are logged through the platform, so you'll receive email notifications about these and you can obviously deal with deal with them as, as and when they come. Our SOC are here 24 seven to support you and monitor your systems to allow you to focus on other things. We'll also only alert you on the things you really need to know about. Defense.com is here to help you simplify your cybersecurity, detect and respond to threats faster and prioritize your remediation efforts.